Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video we're going through the time system part 2 out of 3 video tutorial. So what we're gonna cover today is how to change the tent according to the correct hour and also an easy way to implement and modify events inside your game, most notably lighting, uh, NPCs and whatnot in order to make it fit your time system and also to make it relatively easy on you so that you don't spend three weeks working on a single in because of so many hours and variables and stuff that you don't consider which overcomplicate things. So let's get started. All right, so let's start with the tent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give myself a little space over here, just in case, and I'm gonna go with a tent manager. Awesome. Which is gonna be its own section, of course. Now the tent manager, essentially the way that I like to personally to implement it, and it's really up to you on how you wanna do it, is that I always have a variable which is my type of maps. I don't know if I create, I think I created that one before in a previous tutorial. Yep, we have the type of maps which is like can be inside a village, um, haunted house, forest, and whatever. And I'm pretty sure that depending on that diff of your type of map, then the tint is going to be different. Now, in order to implement this correctly, uh, not gonna pay, go too much details into that for today's video, but just keep in mind that you can always implement the tip of type, then have an event that set it correctly whenever you walk inside a map, and then the tip manager could then address uh, one of those tint inside the video tutorial. So you could have, for instance, uh, type of maps, and I already talked about this, I think, in a previous video, so I won't go through too much details, but I could have in two week walls, uh, I don't know, um, outside standard village, three equals fire dungeon, and whatnot. Don't really matter. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have the tent, uh, more like the end tent. All right. And essentially what the tent manager does is that when it, whenever it is called, and should be called by, in my case, I usually what I do is I call it through the advanced time because the tent of my games are always dependent of what is the current time inside my RPGs. But you could also have it to run it through the game manager. It's really up to you and how you want to implement your things. But just keep that in mind. So what I'm going to do is we're going to call the fence manager itself. And what it's going to do is that uh, essentially depending on the type of map that we've set, Norte is going to be map um, 0 equals n. Should I start with that? And so if it's map uh, type of map 0, then we're going to call the command event, uh, which once again is going to be intent. And inside intent, depending on what time it is inside our game, then we're going to change the tent entirely. So once again, it's not really that hard. So uh, I'm going to have a couple of uh, variables. If you want, uh, if you're very, very minded and want to hard, work, uh, work hard for very, very great results, the most, the one I recommend the most is always to take the current hour you have and make like 24 different conditional branch. And then for each one of those, then you're going to slightly change the tent of the screen to make it gradually and slowly change over uh, depending of what time it is in order to have a good effect uh, over um, the tent of your game based on what time it is but for today's video purposes i'm not gonna do it uh, but so what we're gonna do is keep it very very basic so it's gonna be if it's under six hours that means that we're currently at night otherwise um Let's go with under 16 or equal or under to 16. Actually, it's going to be an else. It's going to be an else otherwise here. And otherwise, if once again, condition is going to be, um, let's go with uh, once again, smaller or equal to um, 20. So starting 21. And then we're going to, nope, no else. All right. 
So if it's under this type of hours, then we're going to change the tint to basically let's go with night because that's mostly what's going to be. Then this one will be normal and shouldn't wait for the completion actually. Should be pretty straightforward since it's only to give you a good idea on how you can implement the tint inside your games. And oh, finally, we're going to have this over here, which is going to be the um, night. And I just realized that I completely forgot about the sunset. So, no, actually, this one shall be the sunset. And we're going to have the else branch that over this. Then we go back to night. There we go. Awesome. So since it's called inside the advanced time, uh, advanced time let's, instead of waiting two frames, let's wait for one so that we can test it twice as fast. And I think that should pretty much be it. So let's try this out. All right, so we have a tent here, which is the middle of the night. It works well with um, our time placeholder, which is good. And then we got the past seven o'clock in the morning, go back to normal. And then we've got a sunset, uh, maybe a bit too on the red side. So, I mean, could definitely remove a much, uh, a little bit of that red. And finally, we go back to the night. But it's really essentially, it's up to you to decide how to implement the tint and the colors you want. It's only to give you a good example of how you can implement tint, tint or based on the trend hours of your game. All right, now something that I want to talk about uh, for the hours inside our game is basically the events. Now, as you can see here, over here, we have a gender there uh, that is lighting and it's been, and we have got also one over here and they work fine and all, but I feel like it doesn't really make much sense that these are kind of working all day. It feels like, well, I mean, if it's daytime, why the hell is that light enough? Like, it makes no sense. Like at night, I can understand. Maybe inside the evening, I can understand as well. But other than that, what's the purpose here? So how can we uh, easily implement this? Now, there's two ways to do about it. The most complicated is always to play with the hours and multiple uh, branches, um, not branches, but event pages and play around this. But I feel like it can get very, very tedious and a lot of hard work, especially the, since we're not trying to make a triple A RPG here. Like we're still working with RPG Maker. So let's be fair on ourselves. Not going to be the game of the year always. Can definitely be a great and an awesome game. And if you want to do it with the hours, fine, go ahead. But I feel like the amount of work and effort put into with that, if you go with the hours and possibly the, even the minutes, compared to how you can simplify it in order to make your life a lot easier, isn't worth it. And so that's why I'm going to show you a little trick on how you can simplify those type of things. So what we're going to do is we're going to work with switches. I'm going to have four switches. One is is morning. Another one is is afternoon. Then I have is evening. And finally is night. Beautiful. Now, Essentially, what we're going to have to do is uh, four pages and, and I'm pretty sure you already understood where I'm going with this. So if it's in the morning, it's not stepping or anything and a uh, direction fix always. So this is the morning. Now we're going to have to do the exact same thing for uh, the afternoon. It's still not lighting up. Then in the evening, uh, it's going to start to be lighting up. And the same works for if it is night and I forgot to change this to this afternoon. So we only need four pages. And the only thing now that we need to code is some logic inside of Coven events that are going to turn this thing off and out. So uh, time of day handler. And which the advent time is going to call. So time of day handler. And essentially what we're going to check is the hours of uh, the current hours. And we're going to decide based on that um, what your time of day it is. So I'm having so much trouble right now. Okay, good. So the hours, if they are smaller, strictly smaller than six, then we're going to have strictly smaller than 30. Um, yep. Strictly smaller than noon, sorry. So 12, then we're going to have 18. And finally, we're going to have 24. So 
this over here is going to be nighttime. So let's go with this one's going to be turned off. So we're going to have to have four switches. Afternoon is off. Evening is off. And we have is night, which is going to be turned on. But first, what I'm going to do is copy paste this inside all of my four blocks over there. And essentially, okay, so this is nighttime. Then this is morning before noon. Then afternoon, it is, uh, well, the afternoon. <laughs> and finally, we got the evening until midnight. Cool. And now, because I got this little handler, which is called by my advanced time, I believe I did. Yep. Okay. Then and I got my gender there, which I'm going to copy paste over the one over here. And also, let's go a little bit crazy nuts over here. So let's delete those two windows over there. And I'm going to go with my own windows. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to so I'm going to open the turret and close them depending on if it is um, day or night. So it's morning. Copy paste paste paste. Then it's going to be is afternoon. And starting the evening, let's start to close up. So because shady things happens inside the end at night. And we don't want people from the outside to see who we're currently murdering. That makes a lot of sense. Place the dust to me. So let's copy paste this, this, and let's try to run the game. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so we're turning out in right time. Turtons are closed. Generators are being lighting up. Now, what would be even better is if we had a, some kind of script that will run uh, lightning around the, our trend effects to have a great effect, but that will be for another day and definitely not going to see this inside our advanced tutorials. It's way more than advanced at this point if you're writing scripts. Okay, and uh, so yeah, the only thing now that I realize isn't quite working well is that the curtain seems to remain closed and so does this, even though uh, it shouldn't. So what is happening here? It's morning, it's afternoon, it's evening, and it's night. And am I turning off everything correctly? Oh, I see what's up. My bad. Completely forgot the else branch. It needs to be inside an else branch, obviously. Because otherwise you're going to have a problem where, yeah, it's, it's under 6, but it's also under 12, and it's also under 18, and it's also under 24. So his, um, his evening is always going to be on by default, unless you have that else branch. Which, as soon as one condition is respected, then we're not going to check for the others. Cool. Let's go ahead with take two. So this works great. Now it's the morning, so like the curtains are open, the chandeliers are off, which is good. And we're gonna move on to the into the afternoon. Which remains the same. So we're good there. No, <laughs> nothing to see there. And finally, let's fast forward a little bit to back inside the evening. Where the chandeliers are back on and the curtains are turned um are closed once again. All right, so that's already it for today's video, part two out of three. Make sure to like, subscribe for more content. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below inside the comment section. And as always, I'll see you later for a new video. Bye! Goodbye.